We'll be discussing pl flow problems still under applications of first order differential equations. The rate at which the amount of a substance changes is equal to the rate at which the substance enters minus the rate at which it goes out of, of a tank or a container. Let x be the amount of the substance present at any time t, pounds, or any unit of mass. In this case, we'll be using the Bryce solution. So the solute will be the um, uh, will be the salt, and we are referring to the amount of salt in the Bryce solution. So E is the volumetric flow rate of the solution that comes in that would be gallons per minute or any unit of volume per time f is the volumetric flow rate of the solution that goes out that would be pounds per gallon or any unit of mass per volume c is the final concentration of the solution going out so if x is the amount of the substance at any time t, the rate of change will be dx over dt. That will be, the, uh, that will be pounds per minute or any unit of mass per time. For the rate equation, so based on the principle, dx over dt is equal to the rate in minus rate out. Now the rate in is equal to E, that is the volumetric flow rate of the solution that goes in multiplied by the initial amount of, or initial concentration of the salt, no, that is pounds per gallon. And then your, uh, the rate of the solution that goes out is F multiplied by the final concentration. So this is your Bryce solution your E that goes in with the initial concentration of uh, the salt and then the solution that goes out visible is the initial brine solution or initial volume that contains the initial salt this is your X sub O So let us check the units of dx over dt is pound per minute. So if you multiply E by V, the unit should be pound per minute. So this is gallon per minute. And then V is pounds per gallon. And the total volume at any time T will be the initial volume. Plus the remaining solution. So to get the remaining solution, we multiply by the, the, the difference with between the rates and the time. The leaving rate will be the, the rate out multiplied by the final concentration. The concentration at any time t is the amount at any, uh, any time divided by the total volume. Okay. So, substituting in the rate equation and then transforming the equation in the linear, linear form. No? So, you get the final equation. So, so all, we have, all, all we need to do is to determine the constants F, V sub O, E, and then B. And then we substitute in the equation. Okay, so let's have an example. A tank initially holds 100 gallons of brine solution containing 20 pounds of salt. At equal zero, the uh, fresh water is poured into the tank at the rate of 5 gallons per minute, while well-steered mixture leaves the tank at the same rate. So find the amount of salt in pounds after 2 minutes. Okay, 
So the initial the initial uh, volume volume of the brine solution is 100 and it contains 20 pounds of salt that is your x sub o so we're asked to find the value of x the amount of salt in the brine solution after two minutes or when t is equal to two now since fresh water is poured into the tank so there will be no concentration of the salt so b is equal to zero and then the rate is five gallons per minute the water that goes out is also five gallons per minute or rather the solution that goes out so using the rate equation okay so we just substitute your f is five here the initial volume is 100 and then e is five f is five so this will be zero okay now since this is fresh water so this will be zero and then this is your equation which is variable separable okay so that can be transformed into dx over x and negative 1 over 20 dt and then integrating we get ln of x negative 1 over 20 t plus c so solving for x you get an exponential here and then at t equals 0 x equals 20 then substitute here this is 0 and then this is 20 so we get c equals 20 so your x as a function of time is 20 e to the negative 1 over 20 times t so when t is equal to 2 you substitute the answer should be 18.1 pounds let's have another example a 50 gallon tank initially contains 10 gallons of fresh water okay at 10 so this will be your initial initial volume Okay, at t equals zero of brine solution containing one pound of salt per gallon is poured into the tank at the rate of four gallons per minute. So this is your E, and then this is your B, the initial concentration. While well, well, well stirred mixture leaves the tank at the rate of two gallons per minute. So this is your F. Find the amount of salt at any time t. So x as a function of time. So the initial condition is 10 gallons so fresh water it means that the initial amount of salt is zero here this will be your x sub o so from you are given that t is four and then the initial concentration of the salt is b equals one and then the the rate out is two so we substitute here so this is 2 okay the initial volume is 10 this is 4 minus 2 b is 1 e is 4 okay so we simplify we get 1 over 5 plus t or t plus 5 here on the right hand side you have 4 okay consider this as a linear equation solve for the integrating factor okay which is t plus 5 and then we substitute in the general solution your independent variable is x multiplied by lambda equals integral of lambda times your q multiplied by dt okay so integrating the right hand side you have 2t squared of uh, this is 40 so 4 40 so that will be 4t squared over 2 or 2t squared 5 times 4 is 20 and then integral will be 20t plus in, in uh, constant of integration when t is equal to 0 the initial amount of salt is 0 so substitute so, so this is this will give you 0 0 0 making c equal 0
or giving c equal 0. And then, when c is equal to 0, then solve for x. So, this will now be your x as a function of time. Okay, so the example 3 is a continuation of example 2. Find the amount of the time when it's required for overflow to occur. Find the amount of salt in the tank at the moment of overflow. What, what is the final concentration at equals 5 minutes? Okay, at the time of overflow, the, the total volume should be equal to the volume of the tank. Okay, since the volume of the tank is 50, the initial is 10, E is 4, F is 2, you can solve for T. Okay, at the time of overflow. And that gives you 20 minutes. And from the previous slide, this is your X as a function of time. We're asked to solve for the amount at the time of overflow, amount of X. So at equals 20 minutes, we substitute and you get 48 pounds. So this is the amount of salt at the time of overflow or when t is equal to 20 minutes. And we're asked to find the concentration at t equals 5 minutes. So we find the value of x at t equals 5 minutes. So using again this equation that gives you 15 pounds at t equals 5. And to get the final concentration, we use this formula, x over the total volume. You have 15, and then this is the total volume uh, at t equals 5 minutes, okay? And this is, uh, this is 2 times 5, so 15 over 20, or that is 0.75 pounds per gallon.